Anyway, so in our section, like I said, they've, they've spent two weeks over here in this cottage on the Keller plantation. Uh, they come back and what happens is that Helen starts misbehaving again. Now, if you look at your script, either online or maybe you printed it, there's a scene at the very, very beginning. It says that Helen, she's going around t checking to see who's there. She goes up to her mom, or actually she takes the key out of the door and hands it to her mom. Okay, so, so now nobody can lock her out or lock her in or do anything. She's given the key to her mom. At the end of the play, guess what happens? She takes that key from her mom and gives it to Annie Sullivan. So you got the key, you're in charge. And, she, and she's, she's showing her agreement now. You're now the one. And they stayed together the rest of Annie Sullivan's life. They stayed to, together from Helen was seven when Annie came to teach her. And there's videos of, them, of Helen Keller as an old lady and Annie Sullivan with her. Okay. Uh, so, all right, so there's that one part right there, and that's symbolic of Helen taking the key from the lock and giving it to her mother. Because later in the play, not in our part, she takes that key from her mom and gives it to Annie Selvin. Okay, so they go on. The family's talking. They're arguing about the war, James and his father. And then, uh, I don't have any line numbers listed on here, but it's time to eat. And so James is going to say a prayer over the meal. And, he, and this is what he says. And Jacob was left alone <clears throat> and wrestled with an angel until the breaking of the day. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. His, he, uh, his hip got knocked out of joint as he wrestled with the angel. And the angel said, let me go for the day breaketh. The day is here. And Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Well, and everybody says, what in the world is that about? That's not a prayer. That's not a blessing of the meal. And James says, well, it's from the Bible, so it has to be appropriate. And he was making a comparison between uh, Helen and Annie fighting, just like Jacob and the angel fought. And I'll put a link in the description that goes into more detail about that. Um, and he said, you know, because we're eating this leg of lamb, and this is like... Uh, Jacob's thigh being out of joint because it's a lamb thing and then, uh, you know, he, he, he's supposed to have a kind of a smart aleck attitude. It's just different from the smart aleckiness of smart alecks today. Then we go on. Jacob's thighs. Um, at the bottom of one of the pages, they're talking about these hens. Uh, the reverend says uh, his hens have stopped laying eggs. Uh, poor fellow, he was out of joint, it says. They're going back to this leg being out of joint. Uh, and there's a question that asks, what does that mean? Okay. Uh, so the pre the preacher, now not priest, this is important. The preacher was feeling all out of joint because his hens weren't laying eggs. And then James says, yeah, I've always thought those hens were papist. Well, papist uh, comes from the word pope and means Roman Catholics which tells us that this preacher was uh, a Protestant, okay? You've got Catholics and you have Protestants, and Protestants divide up into lots of groups, Baptists, Methodists, Episcopalians, Lutherans. Um, and so he's making another joke saying, yeah, the hens won't lay eggs for the Protestant preacher because they're Catholic. Okay, so then we've got this description going on of what's happening. Helen Keller's at the table, and uh, Annie has put a napkin in her little shirt. You know, that's what they did in the old days. Everybody tucked in a napkin. Uh, let me back up a little bit here. Uh, -bum -bum -bum. Oh, and, and Evelyn says, well, you're pulling my lower extremity. You're pulling my leg. Uh, but then they all look over. Everybody has stopped. 
as they're looking at Annie and Helen. As we back up a little bit, um, Kate, everybody starts, there's all this conversation going on. And one by one, the people stop because they've seen what's going on with Annie and Helen. And it actually starts above the Pappas part. It says, um, when Annie reaches for the pitcher, Helen removes her napkin and drops it to the floor. Annie had been filling up a glass of water. Helen's sitting there. So Annie picks up the napkin, tucks it back in again. Conversation keeps going. Kate stops. Helen takes off the napkin, drops it on the floor again. And now, now Kate goes to pick it up, but Annie stops her. All right? And then Captain Keller stops. And he's and everybody's kind of looking at what's going to happen next. Uh, but now everybody stopped, including Aunt Evelyn. Annie, with everyone now watching for the third time, puts the napkin on Helen. Helen yanks it off and throws it down. Annie gets up, takes Helen's plate, and moves it away. Now, now Helen, hoping she's managed, now she's patting on the table, trying to find her plate. She falls on it. She's she slid down in her chair. She's kicking the table. She's throwing a huge tantrum, and so Helen uh, Annie grabs her and yanks her away. Now there's a big fight. She runs off and grabs her mom, and her mom's trying to hold her, and they have this conversation, which goes basically like this. Helen's mom says, "Look, it's a special occasion." Let's just let her do her thing, okay? It's just a napkin. And he says, right now it's just a napkin. If you let this go, everything I've taught her for the last two weeks is out the window. And they say it's a special occasion. And, and Annie says, uh, it's a special occasion when, I'm, when I let this slide. So they argue back and forth. Um, Kate says, what do, you want, what, do you want, what do you want to do? And he says, let me take her away. Take her out of here until she learns how to behave. And Evelyn says, oh, good. she's just a child. Does she have to wear a napkin on the first night back? And then Annie turns and says, I also want you to tell uh, outsiders not to interfere. Oh, 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 oh. And Evelyn's all upset. Um, let me turn the page. So they start talking, and then Annie says to Kate, she's testing you. I have taught her to behave. Now she's going to test you and see if you will support me. And then James says, mm -mm, she's testing you, Annie. Captain Keller tells James to be quiet. And Annie says, no, he's right. Helen is testing us. Are you going to support me? And am I going to stand up to y'all? Or will I back down and let her go back to the way she was? Um, blah, blah, blah. They talk, they talk, they talk. Now, Annie, now Helen has stopped doing everything now. And so Keller, Keller, Captain Keller says, well, she's not kicking now. Well, she, and she's not learning not to. And he says, I know this is tough, but if you want her to learn to act like she's supposed to, you've got to make her. 